What if I told you you were powerless? That at the end of the day, if everything's up to you, then every day would end in absolute frustration. You'd probably say that's pretty depressing. But if you're honest, you'd also probably disagree. Don't we have power? Doesn't our culture always preach that we have control over our own lives? Or that gaining or discovering our power is the height of success? I'm just starting in life and I already feel the pressure to take control. What if I told you, you were never supposed to be the one in power over your life? That not having power is incredibly freeing. To the world, that doesn't sound very intelligent and it sounds pretty foolish. But here's the thing, I'm not the one saying it. At the beginning of John 15, it reads, No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. And you know who said it? Jesus. Yes, you can get a job, buy a house and a car and be successful, but when it comes to real joy and peace without Jesus in your life, you can't get it. Just like a branch trying to produce fruit without the vine. It's not gonna happen and it would be crazy for the branch to try. Now you might be thinking that sounds kinda harsh, but here's the thing. The vine is there for the branch. It's there to serve and make sure the branch has everything it needs to bear fruit. It's there to do the things the branch was never created to do. So in your life, where are you trying to do all things by yourself? Where in your life are you always tired because it's up to you? Don't you want to give that up? Wouldn't you rather be where you were always supposed to be? Before you head to bed tonight, ask Jesus where you are trying to be Him in your life. Ask Him to come into that place with His love his compassion and forgiveness so that you can grow.